the monsters walk towards the city at a constant speed so i'm also mentioned okay i have for every monster let's say for ith monster let's say it is my city for the ith monster i know what is the distance and i also know that at which constant speed again it's a constant speed so there's no acceleration so he's coming with a constant speed right and i know that what's a constant speed speed with which it is coming so i know the s of i and i know the d of i also is the speed of the ith monster in kilometer per minute now uh, i have a weapon that one fully charged can eliminate a single monster however the weapon takes one minute to charge the weapon is fully charged at the very start so i can just imagine that at the very start which means at the zeroth second or the zeroth minute uh, i have my fully charged weapon i'll just shoot it as soon as i shoot it I will take one minute to actually fully charge it again. So I will wait for one minute. Then at one minute, I can shoot it back again. Then I'll wait again. Then at minute two, I'll shoot it back again. Then I'll wait. Then at minute three, I shoot it back again. So this is how the actual my weapon will work. Cool. Uh, it is just now saying that you lose when a monster reaches your city. If a monster reaches the city at the exact moment the weapon is fully charged, it counts as a, as a loss, which means I'm shooting my monster at the zero second my uh, monster is not yet reached me but as soon as i shoot and like what if the monster has reached just like beside me which means it has reached at my place now the shooting point is no logic like he can just kill me right away so uh, it just says that um, monster reaches the city at the exact moment when the weapon is fully charged still i'm dead and the game ends before you can cause uh, before you can use your weapon cool now we have to return the maximum number of monsters that you can eliminate before you lose or maybe you can el eliminate all the monsters that's also very good or n if you can eliminate all the monsters before you reach the city which means maximum number of monsters which you can eliminate before they reach the city now as you can see that uh, i know that i will start shooting right and for my shooting my shooting thing can start from zero it, it, it can start to like it can start off from zero and at every minute i will have a shooting ability so i can shoot at zero three zero one two three four five and so on so forth minute now every monster he has a speed he has a distance so for sure i can know as i know speed is equal to distance upon time right by this concept i can easily get to know that what is the time it is distance upon speed so i can know in, in what time that monster can reach me right cool so what i will do i'll do the same thing so uh, i know that for every of these monsters i can calculate their corresponding time and how much time these monsters can reach me so the time actually will be distance upon speed right so i know that distance is one speed is one so one upon one is actually a one 3 upon 1 is actually a 1. 4 upon 1 is actually a 1. So my time actually will be 1, 3 and 4. Now Aryan, um, like okay, it is just, now you want to kill some monster, right? You know that your capability of killing, let's say killing capability, starts at 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. At time 0, you, have a, you, you will have a killing capability. At time 1, you will have a killing capability. At time 2, you will have a killing capability. So one thing is for sure that at time zero, you will just kill the first monster which is closest to you for sure. Because like if I will like if at time zero, I'll just casually kill the fourth like the monster which is coming at the fourth minute. What's the point of that? Like I can also kill it later on. But who is close to me? Just kill him, click, kill him first. As you have like played the game itself, you will just kill the first monster who is as close to you, right? So at the zero second, I'll kill this monster. And for sure, I can kill, right? Because at the zero minute, I will have a capability, and he is he is one minute for like one minute. So for sure, like uh, he and I, like my zero is less than one. So for sure, I can for sure kill him. He has not reached me yet so that's amazing uh, so i can just kill this first monster great um, as you can see next this is gone right this is gone this monster is killed next monster coming is is at three so for sure i can um like which means that to reach my city this monster will take three minutes and i will have the charging capability at one minute itself so for sure at one minute i will just kill this monster because he has not reached me and he will reach me in three minutes which is more 
so i'll just kill him also okay this is my this cavalry is also gone now at two minutes i'll just kill the fourth like with the one which is reaching in the four minutes to me so as two is less than four so i just kill him so as you can see i will be able to kill all the monsters and that's the answer if we go to the next question you will see that again uh we can go and find uh, now you might ask okay aryan um like the, this was very simple example uh but let's take a bit example like let's say if i ask you if the distance would have been here let's say one or let's say if the distance would have been here one so you would have asked me okay the 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 time here would have also been one so the time here would have been one now you killed the monster who would come in one minute at the zeroth minute so that was okay because zero is less than one so you have the capability to kill at zero and he's coming at one so for sure he's coming late so you can kill him early but now you got the capability at one he is he can also come at one so before you are actually able to shoot he will be standing beside you at one you you got the capability at one he also has reached you sorry you are dead so as you saw that uh, as your minutes and you and you can, you can easily see that your minutes are just increasing order which means zero one two so you can just also imagine these as indexes of this particular array i can just iterate and check okay my index my index actually should be less than my index should actually be less than the this particular time itself if this is the case i am good if this becomes more than or even equal to i am done it's done i'm gone i'm gone like monster will kill me for sure right away now now the one thing in this is uh, what if i ask you if there is a case that a monster is at a distance of uh, three and the speed of that monster is two so for sure you would know that the monster will arrive me at the time 1.5 right again there is a monster at the distance two and having a speed two now the time the monster will arrive me will be actually a one right so i know one thing for sure at time one which means if i if if i'm saying i have a capability at time zero this capability this killing capability i have at time zero killing capability at time zero i can kill both of them it's true because it is 1.5 it is one i can kill both of them killing capability if i say okay uh, if i want to kill at time one i can kill this i cannot kill this because at time one he would be reaching just beside me but he would be reaching at 1.5 time so it is easy so you will see that here we did a simple division this won't help us if either you can figure out a hack for it that how we will handle this case this kind of case or we will just have to make sure that okay we should we have to just mention okay if it's a value which has a remainder so please add a one to it which means if it's actually a remainder so please uh, add a one to it and then compare it so that is one way which you can go about it so you will see just one thing that if the monster is at 1.5 so you can just have it as parity just imagine that it will come at time 2 this will for sure come at time 1 so rather than comparing the floor value as we are doing here what we will do will come like we will actually convert this value to a seal value so earlier we were doing a distance upon speed so now we will make sure that we will do a distance upon speed seal value seal value of distance upon speed or you can also add the same stuff as d plus s minus 1 by s now if this is the case your time actually will become a 2 then you can actually compare this condition that your i should be greater than equal like your, if your i is actually becoming greater than equal to your time you have to stop you have to stop your city is killed now you have to stop and that's the only change which you have to make sure that you are doing so as to accommodate that uh, you don't do a floor division and because of that floor division you might actually think that this monster which is coming at 1.5 minutes would also kill you at one minute but it's not the case it will kill you in 1.5 minutes and you still have and you can still shoot him at the one minute mark cool and uh, that's the only thing which you have to do just simply get the times and for that time itself just compare at any point of time if my i becomes more than equal to my time then i have to 
just to simply break it which means i can just say that i have killed i monsters so far and that is my answer if i have reached my end i can simply return the end which is the size of my entire monsters array cool let's quickly go and jump and write the code for it it's gonna be pretty simple uh we know that uh, how many monsters we have killed uh we, we can simply re like return the index but uh, we also need to know that how many number of monsters were actually there in my entire array. So I can just simply get the distance or speed. Both are of same size. And for sure, if you don't know, the uh, complexity for this is simply what? Time. Complexity is actually nothing but O of n log n. As you know that we are simply doing a sorting. Again, the space is actually O of n again uh, because for sure you're using a time array but still if you can just in place modify distance array with the new time that also can work for you but it's just a recommend like it's just a, a recommendation that you don't change the input as such but still that can be changed to o of one if you actually go and modify your distance input itself else the time is o of n log n because of sorting why sorting because you know that you have to sort this times array because the closest monster which is coming fast you will kill that monster first cool um now let's quickly go on and in this i'll just simply go and uh, write out just going on to all my monsters and i know that for all these monsters um i can just calculate the time first so i can just take a, a vector of int uh, time as an array now i can just do a time dot uh, push back and what i need to push back uh, i need to push back uh, my as i told you a seal value which is actually uh, distance which is distance upon speed but distance upon speed uh, we want to push in a seal value which is actually distance as i told you distance plus speed uh, minus one upon speed it is just representing or you can also do a seal of distance upon speed that also will work exactly same now when that is done simply do one thing that simply sort the time array which you whatsoever you had now with this sorting of time array, now you will have your entire array of time sorted now simply iterate on all of your time array again now my indexing will actually help my i indexes will actually help me to know at i at time I have the capability sh to shoot the monster. So if i is greater than or equal to my time of i now, sorry bro, um, you cannot kill this monster and your city will be killed, but you would have killed i monsters up till so far. Else, if you have killed all the monsters and no monster you could kill, so just simply uh, you can just return an n and you would be able to actually kill all the monsters. Cool, and that will be O of N login. Cool, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye, take care. Bye-bye.